Hi everyone, Tams here. In this video, I'm going to share my beginner plein air watercolor travel kit. Now, plein air means basically doing your artwork outside or urban sketching or something like that. And I, it's something that I've been wanting to do, especially now that my garden is starting to mature. I really like doing a lot of watercolor and sketches. Uh, to record my garden and the things that are going on there and also I've got some trips scheduled for this summer and I want to be able to capture a few things while I'm on the road and I don't want anything too bulky so this is my first try of packing up a few supplies and I thought I'd share that with you so I have this beautiful envelope bag. This is a little high end, but I just absolutely love it. I got it from Le Souk, and it's Turkish made. And I fell in love with it when they first started posting these online. And so we're going to start with this. And if I have to move into something more, a little more uh, larger to hold all my supplies, I'll do that. But I think this is a good start to get going. So this is the bag that I'm housing everything in. I thought I'd show you what all I am going to take with me. So first up, of course, are my watercolor water brushes. Now this eliminates the need to take water with me. Uh, you can put, I've talked about these before in the past, and I'll link them below, but you can put water in the cavity of these brushes, and you don't really have to worry about taking an extra jug or bottle of water or anything like that. So that this this is very handy in terms of brushes. So those are those are the brushes. Now as far as what I do when I am urban sketching or outside, I first start with sketching out things with a pencil. My favorite pencil is this Uni Curatoga. I think I talked about this probably a year or two ago, but I love this pencil. It's a mechanical pencil, and this is the engineer in me coming out. <laughs> but this is Japanese, and what I love about this is it always keeps a sharp point because it's designed to rotate as you push down and pick up, so the shaft rotates. And that's why I just absolutely love this pencil. And uh, this is what I do my initial sketch with. Then I do a lot of erasing because I'm still a beginner, so I always have an eraser handy. And when I feel really good about the sketch, um, I usually go ahead and make it permanent with an artist pen, and I really like these uh, Faber uh, Castell. I don't know if you can see that. And I have lots of these on hand, and I usually travel around with one of these. And of course, I have some paper towels, and that's good for when you want to clean your brush, especially these types of brushes that have the water in the cavity. You just squeeze it after you've painted with one color, and then you blot it here, and you can get off the excess paint and go on to the next color. So that's it's good to always have some paper towels around. And then my paper of choice, I think I've showed this before, but I am using this spiral bound Midori watercolor notebook. It's watercolor paper and I wanted to try this this summer and I, ha I have not tried it enough to give you a good idea of the paper, but hopefully soon I will be sharing a few uh, sneaks on Instagram. If you're interested in what I'm actually doing in this notebook, please follow me on Instagram and I will have a little more feedback in the future about how I like this. I can already tell you I do like the spiral bound because what I have been doing up till now is I had some watercolor paper in a traveler's notebook and it's really important for me to have the paper flat when I'm painting and having it in the traveler's notebook was starting to be a challenge. The other thing is that I feel like you need to have the you need to have the ability to both be 
upright and flat when you're doing watercolor because you may want to do something when you're sketching you may want to hold the notebook in a certain way to do your sketching and then when you're ready to paint you want it to be flat so that is what attracts me to this spiral bound notebook and again I will link this below as well okay the watercolor paints this is a very cool travel kit that a friend of mine made for me, Rosie, and she used an old mint tin, and this is a great way to share paints or store paints, but she gave me this wonderful collection of Daniel Smith watercolors, and instead of taking my larger palette, I thought this would be the perfect size to travel with, so I'm really excited about using these and trying these. I played with them a little bit but I haven't actually been out in the field to try them with the watercolor brushes so we'll see how that works. So anyway that is my little plein air kit and I hope you enjoyed and I hope you were inspired and I'll see you next time. Bye!